Hi, it is first Friday of the month. Yes. And it is bourbon bite size learning time. Yes. And our recipe in our calendar this month is the Tuscan chicken and pasta. Woohoo, I'm excited about this one. It's got all the things I like. I in know. It. <laughs> it's easy yeah. cleanup. Yeah. It's almost one, one pot. Almost one. Almost. You have to dirty one more. Yeah. But it's all right. We'll let it slide. It's not a messy dirty. Okay. All right. It's an so, easy. Yeah. Let's get started and share it with you. All okay. Right. This already smells really good and we've not even like cooked anything. So first thing we did was marinate some chicken. You don't have to marinate. It recommends that you marinate. If you're going to marinate, you mar marinate for like 12 hours. Uh, that's up to you, okay? You can marinate it in balsamic vinegar mm. or you can marinate in ta Italian dressing. Oh. I'm a big Italian dressing fan, yeah. so guess what I chose? I like both, but yeah. okay. There's a lot of flavor in Italian dressing. Right, right. Yeah. So, step one, well, obviously we've already washed our hands yeah. and everything and I'm working with chicken, yeah. so. And you've cut the chicken. I've already cut the chicken and that will help with it absorbing whatever you're marinating it with, okay? Uh, so we should, if we're going to marinate it, we should cut it into the bite-sized pieces before, if you, ideally, right? If you had a full 12 hours, it probably wouldn't make a whole lot of okay. difference. I didn't have a whole 12 hours. Right, okay. Typical K, last minute. Yeah, okay. you know. Okay, so we're going to put it on a, a baking sheet oh. that's covered <laughs> to make easy cleanup. Clean up. Yeah, that, that makes that for having the pot for the pasta. Is yes. The, yes. The, yes, yes, yeah. Now we're going to spread this out. Remember, anytime you're working with chicken, either use gloves, what, anything that touches the chicken, don't use it on anything else. Wash hands but often if you're, yeah, surfaces, hands. Yeah. Chickens are just a little, well, yeah. cross-contamination, okay? It's you can pass things on to other things that don't typically receive contamination from. Oh, yeah. So, now we're going to put two pints of cherry tomatoes. These cherry tomatoes have been cut in half. Mm -hmm. That appeared when I was reading the recipe. I thought that sounds like a lot of cherry tomatoes, but. But you're, you're small. cooking them and they'll, they'll burst and stuff too mm -hmm. in the oven. So they'll end up a lot smaller. Okay. So you're, yeah. We've got all that in. We are going to, we marinated it in Italian dressing. We're also gonna use like a fourth of a cup to drizzle over top. So if you don't like this much, you could just not marinate. Yeah. And, and drizzle. Yeah. Or you could do the balsamic vinegar mm -hmm. with this instead of the Italian dressing too. So Olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah. Gosh, this looks it's just so fresh and healthy looking and just you know that whole we eat with our eyes thing? You know, even though it's raw chicken, it still looks really good. Dried basil. At first I thought, well, wouldn't that be better with fresh basil? But we're gonna have our spinach. Mm -hmm. So it, again, eating with my eyes, I don't wanna right. see it. You know, you could probably maybe at the very end, like when you're plating it, you could mm -hmm. add a little fresh basil if you wanted to. Okay, some black pepper and salt. I'm gonna mix those two together. I'm not a good salt shaker. Uh -huh. I'll do better with my hands. There right. we go. Much you know, more. Your hands are just so much better. Mm -hmm. Onion powder. Lots of good flavors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah chicken breasts tend to not be very flavorful, so it's kind of one of those things where you've got to add a lot of seasonings to jazz it up a little bit, so. And garlic powder. All right. Oh, excuse me. Now we're gonna roast this, or put this in the oven, a 400 degree oven. I don't remember the time. I think it's 20 to 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, and nope, 30 to 40, sorry. 30 to 40 minutes. And we will, Check it and make sure that the chicken's yeah. done. Yes. We want to make sure the chicken's done. Yeah. Very important. 165 degrees. Um, and then we'll complete the recipe. Yeah. Be right back. Out of 
the oven, and boy does it smell it does. It's good. Like amazing. But before we proceed with the recipe, we need to check and make sure our chicken's done. So we're gonna test it with the thermometer. Casey, you wanna? And we will insert this. Remember, at the thickest part of whatever meat you're doing. Chicken needs to be 165 degrees. This is 185. We are we're good. <laughs> we're a little over the top, but that's okay. That's all right. So now we're gonna add our spinach. And it's just been very coarsely chopped. Now that's up to each individual interpretation. You can see how much it's chopped here. Yeah. If you want it a little more fine, yeah. I think you get too much fine and you're gonna lose a lot of yeah. the flavor. Because it's gonna it's gonna wilt down. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. And we don't even have to go anywhere, do anything now. Nope. We are going to steam this by just simply using those juices that are left in there, mm -hmm. covering it with foil. I'm going to cover this with the shiny side down. Okay. On the, the shiny side reflects heat, the dull side absorbs heat, and we want that heat to go back into our pot so we got shiny down. It's just gonna steam it. And we just let it rest for 10 minutes and our spinach will be ready. Yeah, so while you're doing this, you can throw your pasta in and get that ready to go while this rests and then it's all ready to come together. Okay, so let's do our pasta. All right. Okay, to get our spaghetti ready for our We're gonna place it in boiling water you can break it if you want. That's a no-no in the Italian world, but oh, it's go down. We're gonna boil it for about 10 minutes and then we'll be ready to add it to our, our recipe when it comes out of the oven. Okay, our spaghetti's done. All right. And let's we'll see about our spinach that we've steamed. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm blocking. Steam coming off of there. Oh, that looks so, so good. good. The beautiful coloring. Okay, let's put this. I don't think I told them, but it was eight ounces of spaghetti. Okay, we'll just put it all in here and just kind of toss it. There. Yeah, all that with all those juices that are there and all that fresh spinach and mm. tomatoes. Gosh, it looks so good. To be honest with you, it might be a little easier to toss in a bowl. I just don't want to throw you another <laughs> dish. So we'll be a little patient here. That's all right. Oh, uh, we look just like we're in Tuscany. I know. And all those juices are your Italian yeah, your, your, yeah. dressing that was drizzled over, or if you use the balsamic. Spinach is done just right, and you did. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of yep. letting the dish take care of itself. Yep, a little bit. Now let's get some quick bits done. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want to get too much. Gosh, it just... Oh goodness, it just smells so good. <laughs> and again, yeah. very simple dish. Pretty basic yes. ingredients. But I don't want to leave any of it behind. No. <laughs> yeah. There we go. You can probably get some uh, fresh cherry tomatoes this time of year. If not, they'll if be not, ready soon. They'll be ready soon. And they'll be even better. Yeah. She may, if you grow gardens at home, you may even have some of your own that are that are going to come on real soon. But spinach is done just like perfect, you know, and depending on how you like your spinach, you could maybe a little less or more time in that, that pan. 
This makes a lot more than I it realized. Does it does make a too, lot. Also, so. It's a fairly inexpensive recipe, considering especially how much it makes. I don't think I've gotten that long. All right. So, but here's the question, Kay. Mm -hmm. Are you going to drizzle that on the top of it? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I don't know how to drizzle it. I know <laughs> for our audience, but and not block it. I know. I don't know. Don't waste it. Ah. Look at all the herbs. And you know what's even better? Not maybe not better than drizzling it. You know how easy it is to clean this pan. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's just a uh, matter of folding it over and wiping it out. So. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's our finish. This is very uh, like very colorful very nutritional very tasty parmesan cheese over top of it you know they always say when when you go to the mm -hmm. italian restaurants and i just keep sitting there mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> there's no such thing i love parmesan cheese and look what that adds to it oh so glad you joined us today to get to see this that was our july recipe for uh, our calendars yeah probably need to check and see what's coming up in August. So you, oh, oh, right to it. Skillet pork chops with peaches again. Oh. Okay, with peaches. I've never put peaches on my pork chops. I know, but I bet it's gonna be good. I'm excited to try this one. I know, so me too. Make sure you join us the first Friday in August and we'll have some pork chops with there peaches. Go. Right. Okay. Thank you. And let us know about your your pasta. Yeah, you your can just try it home. Yes. Let us know if you like it. Thanks.